Hello, so today I want to go through the different types of encryption keys that we use on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure because it can be quite confusing at the start when you are asked for different keys. So what I'm going to do now is just show you the difference between SSH and the RSA signing key and when, you, when to use which. So as you can see, when you launch an instance, you are asked for an SSH key file. That SSH key file is what you use to connect to your instance through PuTTY or through the SSH command line. So uh, what I'm showing here is the RSA signing key here. So you can see very clearly it, that we are differentiating it from uh, the SSH key. So I'm going to bring you through when to use which key and also how to create your SSH key. So because a lot of people use Windows and starting off with cloud, uh, we use Windows PuTTY. Uh, there is a tool that you can download called Putty Gen, which I have here, which will generate a public and a private SSH key for you. Um, but it will be in a different format for Windows. So as you can see here in uh, Putty Gen, I have generated a public private key pair. So what you have to do is just click uh, Save Private Key. And that, as you can see in the Save As Type uh, file underneath file name, it is, it's saved as a PPK file. And what you can also do is you can either save the public key, uh, but that will save it as a .pub file, which I don't really like. But what you can do, and what I usually do, is just copy the public key as a text file and insert it into the same folder. And that public key is what you use to paste into the Oracle Cloud infrastructure uh, console when you are launching an instance. And that public key relates back to your private key. So when you are connecting via PuTTY to your, to your um, OCI instance, you authenticate with your private key that you have just saved. So as you can see here, I'm just pasting in the public key, which I copied from PuTTY Gen. And now I'm just going to give, well, you can do really what you want when you create a new instance. If you don't have a virtual cloud network already provisioned, um, Oracle will provision one for you. So that's all I'm doing, doing there. So when we connect to the instance, we are going to use our SSH private key file. But now we are going to also look about authentication against Oracle Cloud infrastructure. And this is when the RSA signing key comes in. So far we've looked at SSH and that's what we're going to do to connect to the instance. But now let's look at RSA and how we authenticate against Oracle Cloud to initiate API calls. So you would use API calls if you're using DevOps tools like Chef, Terraform, Ansible and also if you are using the Oracle Cloud uh, command line interface. So there is a couple of pieces of information that we ask of you when you're authenticating against Oracle Cloud. And that is why I like to just get a text file, a uh, text file locally on my machine. And as I'm doing now, I'm copying my user OCID. So that means I'm copying my user Oracle Cloud infrastructure identifier. So I just created a brand new account uh, with nobody else in it. So I'm going to take my user OCID, my compartment. So what is a compartment? So it's basically a logical representation uh, or grouping of resources. So you can have networks and, and subnets and VCNs that, that uh, leverage multiple compartments. But a compartment basically is your working area. So you could have a production compartment, a test compartment, and a development compartment or break it up by networks, uh, network administrators, all these different things. So it's just a, a logical grouping of resources. Um, so what I'm also going to do is take my home region, so when, and also my tenancy OCID. So now you can also see what we will also need is a fingerprint, and the fingerprint comes in with the RSA signing key. So that, so this is when you upload your RSA, public key up to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure console, uh, which I'm going to show very shortly, your your fingerprint must match the, the fingerprint that is generated with your RSA signing key. That's just as a test to see if, um, if both of your keys are correct. So let me just go through it first and we will, uh, you will see the difference. So I'm just going to take my public IP and this is a tool called PuTTY, so you can just download it for Windows. And so I'm just going to hit um, OPC stands for Oracle Public Cloud. And I'm going to go into SSH and I'm going to insert the private key, which corresponds to the public key, which I use when launching the instance. 
So now I've chosen that key, so I should be allowed in. Yes, so I straight away in uh, OPC app testing. So testing is the name of my instance. So Oracle Cloud has made this easy just to document how to um, how to generate your keys. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to install the command line interface and this will automatically generate that RSA signing key for us. So let's just go through it and how to how to set it. Because I find when using the CLI, it's a lot easier just to install the CLI and a lot of this information will be generated for you. So as you can see here, there's a script that you can run uh, just to download it straight. So let me just split my screen here and I'll uh, execute it from the start. So it's uh, a lot of dependencies are installed here. You have Python, a couple more tools. Um, so you can leave a lot of these blank. So they're just going to be defaults where, where your information is saved. Uh, just make sure to include this in your path when you are prompted to. Um, so this should download pretty quickly. So we're installing pip, uh, just a, one of the Python tools. So it should all work pretty quickly. I may make my screen may make my screen uh, full just to show you um, all the details. So definitely hit Y here or yes to include this in your path so you can execute the CLI from anywhere. So I have everything configured. Uh, I have all my depends, ten, dependencies installed. So just hit OCI setup config and you will, all this information will generate uh, will be generated in a, in a hidden directory called .oci, uh, .oci in a config file. So you can see now why I documented all the information that I need. So I'm just going to copy my user OCI ID, which I copied from the console. And now I'm also going to enter in my tenancy OCI ID, uh, which I copied from the console also. So let me just paste that in there. Uh, and the default region. So your region is just where Oracle Cloud uh, gives you a home region to start, but this doesn't make much effect. Uh, you can create resources in any region. So you can see here now, instead of running the RSA key generation commands by ourselves, the script automatically prompts it for us and the script will do everything for us. So let me just hit yes to this. Uh, where do I want to save these keys? I'll go in the .oci hidden directory again and I call it OCI, OCI API key and OCI A, API key public. So you can see it's also uh, uh, concatenated my fingerprint also. So let's just put that in our text file and we will compare our text file against the console when we upload my, my public RSA, RSA key. So let's just get into that hidden directory and we'll make sure that everything is there. So we should have a config file and two keys. Okay, so let's cat our public key. Okay, so we can see this is a public key. So let me copy that and upload it to the console. So this is what I use to authenticate against Oracle Cloud. Okay, so let me just go to the console and I'm going to navigate to users under identity. And under that, under this, you can upload your public key, which you generated. So let me just upload that and I should get a matching or corresponding fingerprint, uh, which also matches uh, what was installed with the command line. So you can also generate this fingerprint yourself. The commands are documented in the OCI CLI documentation, which I have um, underneath this video, linked underneath this video. So let me see if I'm authenticated. I am, okay? So I'm able to execute OCI commands, o OCI CLI commands. So that means I am authenticated and my fingerprint is matches uh, the fingerprint that so I hope that clears up the difference between SSH and RSA keys on our cloud infrastructure. So you use SSH to log into an inst instance and RSA keys are for API calls to the Oracle cloud through the CLI. Thank you very much.